Hello everybody, welcome again to GearFax. Today I'm having a look at the Casio CTK6250. It's that cool looking Casio keyboard with the red face panel on it. There's the display. I really like the new set of CTK keyboards from Casio. They've got some great features. And as we pull back into focus, let's have a listen to some sounds. Nice and crisp and clear. And down here we've got a little arpeggiator button. There are all kinds of arpeggios that you can choose from. I think there's about 105 maybe that you can have. And for those amongst us who need a little bit of help with their playing, like me, I use a lot of arpeggios in my music. This is a really great feature. Incidentally, the keyboard has a beautiful feel. The, the keys, they're not exactly weighted like a piano, but they have a nice sort of lilting feel as you press each of the keys. Very easy on the fingers and probably a good keyboard to start learning on if you're looking to get into serious piano a little later on. Let's have a listen to some more of these default tones. I'll turn the arpeggiator off. Octave piano. Modern electric piano. Harpsichord and harpsichord with strings. A really nice organ in this one. Mellow piano. Nice and soft. Incidentally, you can name all the patches that you save for yourself as well. You can put an effect on, even have arpeggio switched on, and you can go ahead and save that and give it your own personalized name. And here's a piano with some strings built in as well. Vintage and modern kinds of sounds. I'm gonna try this one at the bass end. And I believe I say some presets here earlier, so we've got eight banks of four. So really you've got 32 that you can make up yourself and save. What did I put in number one? Okay, in that one you can hear the delay effect too. That brings me to a whole separate topic, the digital signal processor section, which gives you about 100 effects algorithms to choose from. Not quite as comprehensive as previous models of Casio CTK keyboards. You can only layer maybe two effects at the most, but it is a very wide selection of effects. What was in bank number two? So I got a bit more of a wah-wah kind of effect happening there, which works well at the bass end. And don't forget your pitch bend wheel, of course, which you can set to plus or minus a whole two octaves if you want to. Bank number three now. A broader, bigger arpeggio sort of sound. We move to bank number two, and number one is this soft arpeggio. So it gives you an idea of how either harsh or really, really soft this synth can be. It's very, very broad spectrum. Hold down the arpeggiator button, and you'll get the entire selection of arpeggiators that you can choose from. So I'll zoom in a little bit on our screen here so you can see styles of arpeggiator that will actually play you a kind of a, a melody, just one key pressed here. Which may be designed just to go with a particular beat. And some of them are a bit more melodic like this. The first 50 or so arpeggios are more mathematical, I suppose, in their progress. And I think I've probably talked enough about the arpeggiator there, but it is a part of the keyboard that I find particularly exciting. The speakers have a nice bright feel as well. As you can see, we've got a passive bass radiator there, tweeter, and our main speaker, which I think is five inch studio monitor quality. They're very nice and clear. And Casio has always been a bit that way, really impressive speakers. 
So getting back to this first arpeggio that I had, if I put it on synchro, I'll start off my rhythm. And of course we've got fill-ins and we can play it out with a proper ending as well. So that's a nice way to play live, to have a song that you can construct on the fly using these controls. Anyway, that's a bit of an overview of the 6250 guys. I know that was a bit sporadic and I was kind of jumping all over the place, so check out my other videos of keyboards in this series. And hopefully my next demo of a keyboard will be a little bit more organized than this one. Thanks for watching GearFacts though guys, I appreciate that. Do hit that subscribe button below. Check us out on Facebook as well under the same name, GearFacts, and I hope to see you again really soon.